What's going on, pop lovers and collectors? Launcer Monster back with another episode of Launcer's Pop Obsession. We got a special, special episode for you tonight. Obviously, I went back to Toy Boulevard. That's no secret. I'm sorry if that's my main place to go to, but George never fails to come through. I got some new stuff. Keeping up with the pop rock. And I got two oldies, but goodies. So, actually, five pops. I forgot about one. Just going to put that one there. And we're going to get down to it, but uh, I'm going to unbox everything for you. But uh, I just wanted to say, what's up? Thank you so much. We hit 500 subscribers yesterday and i don't know what's been going on but you guys seem to be loving the content and i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart see this isn't scripted or anything like this this is just raw this is what's on my mind unfiltered so we hit 500 not last night the night before and uh we're over 520 now. We're at 521. Just incredible. Uh, I completed in one of the uh, episodes last week, I completed, or this week, I completed the uh, Def Leppard set, the five pops, which are right up there. You can't really see them. Well, you can see them. And... Um, yeah, just a couple of them you guys are loving to death. I don't know if it's the song. Uh, I actually made a mistake on the song because it was, it's the Phil Collins out of box. Not to be mistaken with Phil Collins, not the same guy. Uh, Phil Collins, and he apparently didn't play. He wasn't in the band when they did that song. So, my bad, everyone. Sorry if you were offended, but... Uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys. We're over 200,000 views, 217,000 as we speak, and almost at 1,000 hours of watch time. That's just... Granted, I do these long-form videos, the unboxing, but most of it, I'd say 90% of it is views. Uh, not views, but uh, my shorts, my music. Just fantastic, fantastic. But let's get into what George had for me. What I managed to scoop up as well. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. The first one. And like I said, uh, the pops are all. I also got a magazine cover. But the pops are all, all pop rocks. And uh, I've never heard of this one. But since I'm a true collector, I'm going to find out who she is. Rosalina. Um, yeah, I don't, I never heard of her, to be honest. I'm just going to bring this back so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, it's a nice pop. The hoop earrings. I don't know. I want to say she's from, from the 90s or something like that. Just because of the way she's dressed. Not that she's dressed bad or anything like that. Don't cancel me. But, um, nope, she won't. Yeah, I'm just uh, kind of, although now, now that I'm looking at it, it's, it's hard to tell. What do I know anyway? What do I know? There she is. It's actually a nice little cute pop. Good details. The details are there. I don't know anything about her, so it's kind of... I don't know. I don't know, but it's a nice pop. And uh, I collect pop rocks. Just in case you didn't know, I specialize in pop rocks and uh, WWE and covers. Comic book covers. 
uh, uh, album covers. What else is there? Comic cover, game covers, deluxe album covers, posters. Not really the posters. I've got one. And, you know, some odds and ends. But this is Rosalina. Next. We've got the queen, Aretha Franklin. This, obviously, I know her. A lot of great music. Uh, she died recently. And a lot of the modern pop singers and stuff like that. She doesn't like. It was hilarious. I saw an interview. I can't. I, I'm not going to try to quote her because I can't really remember the quote. But uh, yeah, it was rather rather amusing how they asked her about somebody. And, uh, well, she was very catty about it, let's just say. This one has a stand too. I think it's mandatory, especially for the music uh, pops that that they the women come with a stand. They really make the feet so so tiny, not realizing how are you going to support the head. You know the Dragon Balls. Uh, me and uh, D Hero had trouble with those. Okay, I've got one more new one, but it's 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 a cover. So, but welcome to the Jungle Slash. I used to have this. I had the whole set actually before I sold my collection initially. Uh, it was three years ago, man. This channel would be so different if I had my old collection. <laughs> I had so much random stuff because I was just collecting everything. But, uh, he was in it with Duff McGavin and obviously Axl Rose. I would like to get them again. Oops, I thought I, I thought I tore the box a little bit. Oh, okay. Big feet. Let's see if we can get them to stay. So, uh, uh, Slash, he's one of my favorite guitarists. I, I like him. I don't know, just his rebel mentality and stuff like that. And uh, he is a great guitarist. Uh, I wasn't a fan of Guns N' Roses in high school when they were popular. It, it was an after thing. I, I was more into hip hop and R&B. But this is definitely, definitely a classic. And I've been contemplating getting him for quite some time now. Or re-getting him. Last but not least for the music ones today. Boom. Iggy Pop. I'm not really too familiar with his music. I know I've heard some of the songs. I can't really name them right now. I know he had a song in the 80s. It was kind of a dance techno before it was called techno, house music kind of kind of thing. Acid or I, I don't know, but uh, he had he had a song and that's that's how I really remember him. Let's check him out of box. Oh and he has a stand too. Yeah. I often wonder why they don't, why they, I guess it has to do with the packaging, but why they don't just, if it needs a stand, why they don't just uh, make it part of the stand. You know? What do I know? What do I know? So that's Iggy Pop pointing, shirt off. Surprising, because normally these days, a guy with a shirt off would not be tattooless. He's always got the microphone hidden under his hair. I don't really take a look at these until I unbox them with you guys. And that is 
I like my reactions to be raw. That's why I don't edit or anything like that. Although I'm sure some of you wish I would, especially on my arcade channel. But uh, hey, that's just how it goes. I like this raw, natural appearance. You know. Uh, last but not least, ow! I just bit my tongue. See, raw. We got Steph Curry Slam Cover. I actually got this a little while ago. I just kept forgetting to put it on the uh, on the table to do to do the episode because I always line them up, you know, which pops in which order and so on and so forth. But yeah, it's a nice cover. I don't remember this issue. I used to collect Slam back in the 90s and early 2000s. You know. But hey, that's it. That's my adventure once again to see George at Toy Boulevard. On the carry. In Montreal. Your best shot. I'm not sponsored by him. I wish I would be, you know, George. Hook a brother up. Um... I want to thank you guys once again, not only not only for today, stopping by, joining me on this uh, unboxing video, but uh, for liking my stuff, you know, 217,000. We only started in April, middle of April. So it's been May, June, July, August, September. It's been five months. We're over 200,000 views, 217,000. That's as of two days ago. So we're probably, we're probably close to 220,000 and uh, over a thousand hours of watch time. And of course the 521. That's, I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of you guys for, uh, well, I'm happy that I can entertain enough of you, that you come back and you see me and uh, you enjoy it. And uh, sometimes, yes, I repost uh, videos with new new music, especially when I get more. Uh, I just got a new turntable, which is one of these things. But the one that I got is uh, it's larger, so I can fit like a whole band on it and, and other things. So great things to come. So I want to thank you guys once again for joining me. If you enjoyed today's episode or any of my content, please. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. It really helps. I'm trying to grow this channel. These pops aren't cheap. I need to get more. So I need you guys to watch to give me a reason so that my wife doesn't kill me. It's actually, actually on that note, before, before I sign off, I actually, in the places that I go to, no one gives me a receipt because they know it's evidence for the wife. Can't let her find out what's going on here. She knows. She knows. She comes in and she she's she's not stupid. She notices that the wall gets filled up and uh, that things move around. But it's something I enjoy. I really do enjoy it, and I hope and I'm glad you enjoy it too because you keep coming back. So until next time, keep hunting, keep collecting, keep having fun. Have a great day, guys. Take care.